I like this area. A Vikings invasion? Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't it, you better not. You better, I'm, you better not. I, uh, this is terrible. Look at all these people without houses. This is the, this is the worst calamity. It's time to pick up where we left off and rebuild this, this place. Ah, uh, I'm gonna leave the rubble here because at least it, you know what, close you. You're not gonna be open for a long time. We ain't got no houses, Baron. Give us houses. There's 25, there's four of us in each bed. Oh my God. All right, where's that next wood supply? What are, what's this ship got zero on it for? Why ain't you got no wood on you? Look at that, he ain't got no wood. Well, at least, at least we can cry at night. All right, we'll uh, at least give these people something to do. I repeat, Scotland is fully defended in stone, but that doesn't matter because now our colonies are getting ransacked. So, these Viking war parties, man. Happiness is minus 48. Seven, the peasants are P.O.'d, sir. The taverns is crowded, and by that we mean there ain't any. Day's gone, me lord. Everything is gone. We was gonna make churches. What else floats? Gravy! Apples! Small rocks! A duck! What movie, guys? I've honestly never had that happen in Kingdoms and Castles. And I'm kind of glad it did, honestly. It taught me a very, 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 very painful, but very valuable lesson. The pain is definitely more than the lesson. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I think we put too much good stuff here. So we've got to start defending this place. They all just landed on this southern beach. One even rammed down our bridges. We got 50 beds. I might just start putting a wall here and figure out as I go. Bridge rubble. Oh, I remember what it is. I, I remember everything. So what year was that? Ooh, a merchant's arrived. Not at the place we need, of course. But maybe we can at least sell some stuff. What can we sell over here in Anglia? Everything. We're gonna sell everything we can. Ooh, wood is in demand. Let's sell 50 food. Oh, we got so much iron. We're low on charcoal. I need to import charcoal, but as a temporary fix, I'm gonna put two more charcoal makers up here. And then eventually we'll get that sorted out. But we've got bigger issues than making sure that Germania is a uh, exporter. These people are still not happy, but at least it's trending upwards. We lost our library. That was, what, here, I think? How do I wall this area off? Efficiently. I can wall off this island. Right here. On the inside of this path. Get rid of these roads. Yeah. I might have to make a wall here. It'll be what it is. I'd say the only people who haven't... No, Germania had a small Viking raid. But it was never decimated to this level. I wonder why. These people were targeted so much. I think it was just the amount of building that was being done. It was literally a, a pure, a very, very thriving economy. All right, so we need another house. Once we can afford that, we need the 50 wood. Hey guys, I want you to, I want you to see this. But don't worry, we've got Honoria running. <laughs> oh, what an absolute calamity to happen to our kingdom. Now, oh, another thing is, I've got to make sure I've got enough well coverage. So those cover that. I'm gonna have to put a well over here and a well, you know, over here on the periphery. I like leaving the rubble here because it, it kind of, you know, as sad as it is. All right, so we finally, nope, we don't have yet. We don't have it yet. Oh, here's our shipment, emergency shipment. Emergency resources. 51, where's all the, are you not picking up as much as I'm telling you to? This guy's supposed to pick up like 200. Are we out of it? We're not out of it. Maybe the just ship can't... Maybe there's a, a cap. Or maybe there's not enough dock workers. I can't wait till drawbridges are out. That's gonna be cool. We will be ready for the next one. At least better than we have been this time. And I've also got some wood production going over here. Oh, here we go. We've just now, or are about to, 
finally get enough beds for the French peasants. Basically, French peasants. French townspeople. Look at that. My gosh. Talk about an absolute calamity, man. So another thing is, since I've decided to wall off this area, I've got to decide how does that affect my planning for this area. Alright, so I'm still trying to plan this area out. So I've decided to put the granaries here. I'm gonna put two of them. We're gonna have to have a, a food port really close. Decisions, decisions, but we are starting to defend this area. Let's go ahead and get rid of this rubble. Figure out what it is. Very, very sad stuff has happened to this realm. I'm thinking we're gonna need a military. We're gonna put a ballista. Oh, oh no. It's also really good to do this pause thing. Because if you're- it's the best way to plan, it's kind of like- I don't know if it was in place before, but They Are Billions also has the mechanics. And I really like them. Like, for example, if I do that, or if I want to delete it, I can. At no charge. I like that. So, there we go. So now we've got two ballistas and an archer tower covering the southern approaches anyway. And it's winter time. This here is aggregating. <laughs> aggregating. Irrigating. And then we might run... I might want to keep this one, but... I guess we've got the people, right? So I might as well give them something to do. Kind of centrally located. I'm thinking about putting a library in here. Man, I've got to fit a library and a church and a brewery. The brewery can go over here, so let's do that. If I can afford it, which I just now can. You too can get a brewery too. That seems like the best spot for it. Actually, it's not. Over here is. Covers those houses. And we'll put a library right there. We want to keep these people happy. Let's see. The merchant. Why isn't the merchant coming here? What if there- what if there was like a big world? To where like, say I was playing and I was somewhere on the map and you could rate it like an open world kingdoms and castles like 4X type game to a certain extent. Oh man, that would be sweet. Alright, so what do we want to do? We want to sell everything we can. Oh wow. Allows you to tax peasants and stores a thousand. Oh yeah, because this one down here wasn't... Okay, where do we want to put this guy? Not there long term, but it is inside the walls. Man, I totally forgot about that. I was gonna sell stuff, but there's no reason to. I actually should buy. We just bought a hundred tools. Is it efficient? No. But now we can sell. That's... that's silly. Probably, yeah, it's a little- it's a little bit silly. Oh, you know what? That was dumb. Because I need to put a gatehouse here first. Man, poor planning. Now I should be able to do that. Well, we'll leave it there for now, because I don't want to have to stop it. Alright, so this is where the housing is gonna go. Do I have the tools to do this? I hope so. Oh man, running out of wood. Oh yeah, I was gonna put- Here we go, we gotta cut that. Oh, a dragon sighted. Okay, it's a baby one. Oh, I just really- you know what? We need to defend over here, too. Let's do that. Do we have- Whoa, we're lacking stone entirely over here. There's stone production, but there's not enough people to work them. Easy peasy, okay. Alright, let's see what this little dragon's gonna do. <laughs> that would just be perfect, that Anglia doesn't get attacked. In the, in the episode that we're focusing primarily on our colonies, one gets the lit- like, gets punched back into the Stone Age by the biggest calamity of all time. And then the other one gets burnt down by dragons. Oh, he seems to be going for Anglia, which is okay with me. Look at Anglia. So very well fortified. Actually, we're gonna wall off all of it. All of it, guys. All of it. Oh, man. Ireland is getting a serious upgrade. Look at all these piers. Eventually, we're gonna have a very solid wall. Now that we got the resources... Alright, where's this dragon at? He's right here. So, come on, buddy. What you got for me? Where are you gonna fall? Because I know you're gonna fall and you're gonna wreck something expensive, aren't you? That's what you dragons do. Oh, man! He just- he just gave those- those guards a haircut. Where- Oh, really? You're gonna fall here? On this tower? What? Oh god. Well, luckily we've got our mason right here. Look at this. This is a mason, and he repairs damaged things. Life 4 out of 5, yep. You see what happened. We all saw it. We was all there. 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna wall this place off, man. Look at Lord Levi. We're gonna put a some pretty epic towers here. Let's see what's going on. Over in Francia. After the the Great Recovery, we'll call it. The Great Depression and the Great Recovery. We had to we have to have some native wood production over here. Got a few towers set up. I can get rid of this guy now. You are now relieved of work, gentlemen. Come on, give me wood. Give me all this wood. Oh, good lord! Seven peasants have died of the plague! We need a- we need a hospital on this island. How do I fit it in here? Cause this is- oh yeah, I guess I gotta get rid of these, right? Complete removal. Complete removal. We gotta continue these. But I'm out of wood, and look at what I've done in terms of wood. I've got a lot of wood production, but we don't have the people for it. So I'm building the houses. Oh, and you know what? We're going to need... I'm gonna... Here we go. Look! This man is demanding toast! Why? Ooh. So I guess if you're just near the water, you get this happiness bonus. So, we've got the happiness over here. Is it still 99 happiness over here? 101? 101 Dalmatian? No, but 101 happiness? The Germans are so happy, man. You know they're happy. And that means they're gonna get attacked next. We need to build towers. I guess I started doing that here. Oh, but we have no stone production. Did we close down the stone? We still don't have any workers for it, so... Oh yeah, that was the thing I was going to do. Was build a house right here. Oh, but I can't do it because I ain't got no stone. Where... Are you picking up stone? Pick up from where? And drop off to where? Oh, that's why. We're losing all of our stone. We're losing all of our stone? It sounded like I just said all of our stone, but... All of our stone. We've got to adjust all of our ships now. Pick up from where? And drop off here? Oh, so we just gotta boost this. By 50. Get us some stone so we can work on Germania. We're probably gonna build a few stone towers and keep it at that. Alright, so we should start getting stone here. This, I tell you what, man, the Franks... They may have been the second colony started, but good lord, have they hit the ground running. Now we gotta figure out where to put- oh, look at this. We just cleared out the way. Look at that. Oh yeah, getting rid of all this crap stone. I believe that's the technical term. Crap stone. We don't want it. Merchants arrived at the main area. Can I sell? What can I sell? I can sell a lot of charcoal. Look at that, there's there's never anything good to sell, and I don't want to sell my armor necessarily. I love how this place has 101 happiness. Is our stone increasing at all? There's still no one there to work it. Oh, did I still not build a house? I've been, I've been trying to save up stone, but we're still at zero. So I can't build manors or cottages, and I'm not building hovels. You Germans! Wow, 92 peasants have taken ill? Mother of goodness gracious. So where do we have a hospital? Here? Here. We could use a hospital over here. We could build one on the water. Or we'd have to expand the walls. It's very tricky to fit more hospitals in this area. There's one over here. I guess we could put one up here in the north. Oh yeah. This is our grand construction project. Alright, so what we've been doing is a lot of industrialization. I'm building the iron, or the stone road. That should expand the far reaches... ...of each side to each other, so it goes all the way here. And I like that. I think that's pretty good. We should also expand it around the resources. We've got a lot of stone over here. There we go. So the core areas... Well... We can get a little bit more. Oh, we're up. We're already very low on stone. But, we're producing it fast enough. So, look at this. France, man! Frankia here is definitely in a much better position than when we started. We had to totally rebuild because we didn't account for defenses. I thought that Vikings would focus. I thought the AI would just kind of focus here, but it's a pretty advanced AI. Well, maybe not as advanced as, like, I'm making it out to be, but they hit us where it hurt the most. 
And so we've been starting to set up defenses here. Which is what we've needed to do. For some odd reason, I swear, stone is being taken. Pick up, drop off. Yeah, you're supposed to drop off stone. Maybe they're taking it- yeah, they're taking stone here. But no stone is going away, we're just storing it in the docks for some reason. You know what, actually, let's go ahead and create a wooden wall here. But look at this, we're, we've created a cool little area. Alright, so we've got 200 beds and 200 people. We're gonna create another house when we can afford the stone, which should be soon. We're definitely gonna need a hospital, and I think I'm gonna have to put it here. We'll put it here. A hospital? Hey, welcome to our fair city. We've got medicine. Actually, in medieval times, that'd be pretty nice to see, don't you think? A hospital right away? Like, oh, okay, well, they may not be as happy as the Germans, who are literally the happiest people in the world. Oh, yeah, I still gotta do this thing, right? We still don't- where's the stone going? These stupid dock workers, man. Not stupid, they're just listening to me. I only need 15 stone there. Alright, where's the dragon? Oh, it's a baby dragon. And he's heading straight for a ballista. Man, I think it'd be cool if you had to make ballistas and like you could make- Oh, you're gonna fall on my castle. You jerk. Happiness is 104 here? Oh, because of the dragon. <laughs> oh, trending towards a happiness of 121. Insanity. I love it. What? Fires claimed a manor. What? Not again. The French people are without a home. For another time. Good lord. This is a sad day to be- This is the worst episode and the best episode to be French. I'll tell you that. Oh, hold on. Let's buy all of your tools. Aha! Now we've got tons of tools. Now I can finally get rid of this. 100 happiness. The happiness colony in all the world. Alright, I've got to figure out how to... Optimize this. I can fit one, two, three, four... I can fit three. We're lowish on food. Alright, so... Frankia is doing much better. We're even building, um, piers to expand the walls to create the, a nice, solid square here. I'm thinking we're gonna have, eventually actually have, a drawbridge right out front the port. We're gonna create a, just a solid square. And I might even extend it. I haven't decided to kinda maybe flare it out here. Depends, really. But look at this, man. This is, this is just glorious. And once that's done, we can... We can complete the wall here. This is definitely going to be a lot better. I'm feeling happy about this. Much, much better, guys. So... Frankia was absolutely... Just destroyed to the ground. It was ruined, and now it has risen anew! And it is much stronger, and it is going to be able to defend itself. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put... Should we put an archer tower or a ballista over here? It's not really as high as I'd like it to be, so we can wait. This one could be an archer tower, however. But we've got... we've got... Three gates. One, two, and three. By the end of it, there'll probably be four or five gates. We've got the farmlands going, we've got our Noria, which did manage to survive that massive Viking invasion. Things are a bit testy at one point, and I'm thinking... Guys, real quick, like, look at this. So, here's Frankia. It is growing, it is learning to defend itself. They are our hardy people! In fact, they've been through the most out of everybody. Anglia is pretty much safe, and they're still working on completing the wall around Ireland to basically enclose their entire kingdom. Which is wildly impressive to think that we've actually gotten that far. We've even got two statues. Oh, by the way, maybe Frankia. We should build some statues over here. See, and soon there's gonna be rival kingdoms. I'd love to have, like, politics and stuff like that, and even runaway kingdoms and... Or, you know, maybe... Oh, just, there's literally so many possibilities. The Germans over here are the happiest. What? Oh, recently homeless. Because I'm, I've been doing a little bit of, uh, don't worry about that, don't worry about that, they're still super happy, I promise. But yeah, we need to figure out, what should we do? Should we work on France? Next, which is gonna be pretty much completed, more or less. The wall could be completed relatively simply. And then Anglia is gonna get its wall surrounding it. 
very easily soon as well. We've got wood production, but we don't necessarily need it. So then the question is, where should we expand to? We need another colony. Should we expand to here, which is what I'm going to call Greenland? I still don't know what to call this one. Maybe Norway, maybe Denmark. And then we've got this little island here. That could be the Netherlands. Oh, it could be the Netherlands if we wanted to expand it out and build it up with piers. We'd have to have tons of resources shipped to it. So it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be a good next one. Should we work on defending Germania or should we expand to America over here or even this island over here, which is Iceland? Where should we expand to? Leave a comment below and if you see somebody that's agreed with where you want to go next, go ahead and upvote that comment. Like it. And then we'll that'll be our democratic process. All right, guys, and I will see you in the next episode of Kingdoms and Castles.